This kingdom of women is so strange. The female general rules the country alone. Women are responsible for working outside, while men have a low status and can only take care of children at home. The men wear burqas and veils with their faces exposed. They can only live a good life if they marry a good woman. Vegetables and fruits are forbidden here. The people of the country were fed a thick porridge delivered by pipeline. On that day, the general announced a big news. After the execution of the guilty man, she was getting old and decided to let the princess take over her duties as general when she got married. So, she set up a ball and invited all the men of the right age in the city to attend. The princess would choose her husband. Jackie was the best looking man in the village. All the women in the village adored him and hoped to marry him as soon as possible. But Jackie was only in love with the princess. He thought that with his handsome looks, he would be able to capture the heart of the princess. Mom was very confident in him and took him to register for the ball. But when they get there, they realize that the tickets for the ball are very expensive. Jackie's mother, who was raising him alone, could not afford it. Jackie was standing at the door and being ridiculed by his uncle's family. This was too much for Jackie to bear. He chose to report his uncle to the officers as a male chauvinist. The women's army found a lot of patriarchal remarks in his house and immediately arrested him. In order to reward Jackie for his report, the officers gave him a ticket to the ball. Jackie felt so happy at this time. This ticket is very important to Jackie and can even change his life. Mom is also happy. She decided to spend money to customize a beautiful robe for Jackie. Jackie thanked her very much. He wanted to polish his mom's shoes to show his filial piety. He polished her shoes all night long. However, the next day, his mother fell to the ground and lost her breath because the soles of her shoes were too smooth. Jackie had no time to grieve before he sent his mother away. After losing his parents, he was taken to leave with his uncle, but when he retrieved his mother's custom-made burqa, he was severely beaten by his aunt's husband. Then his uncle took away his clothes, and the uncle was going to let his oldest and second sons wear beautiful dresses to the prom, and Jackie is forced to sleep in a doghouse. This boy is so miserable, his prom invitation and custom-made tuxedo were taken away by his cousins. He had to personally help his cousins dress up so they could go to the princess's ball. Jackie is like a male version of Cinderella. His uncle and his cousins are happily off to the palace for the ball. While Jackie is locked up in a dimly lit dog house, suddenly, the horses in the village start calling Jackie and summon him to the woods. As a result, Jackie meets three female officers. When the female officers see the weak and helpless Jackie, they are charmed by his beautiful face. They are ready to do something intimate to him. Suddenly, his uncle Bruno suddenly appears and cues the female officers and saves Jackie. It turns out that Bruno escaped from the prison and came to the forest alone and tamed the village's sacred horse. He asked the horse to guide Jackie to meet him. Bruno showed Jackie the many radishes he had planted. Although the vegetables were forbidden to be eaten by the common people, the radishes were sold for a good price at the palace. Bruno was going to save enough money and take Jackie with him to escape from this ridiculous country. After Bruno finished pulling all the radishes, he asked Jackie to put on a woman's costume. Jackie is still beautiful in his female outfit. Uncle and nephew rode together on a thin horse to the palace, but the horse collapsed in the middle of the journey. When they arrived at the palace, Bruno found one of his friends and started to communicate and sell his radishes. Jackie didn't want to disturb them, so he went out alone. Jackie didn't know where to go and walked into the ball, where the princess was choosing her husband. The ballroom was full of lights and people. Jackie finally met the princess he had loved for a long time, and the princess saw Jackie in the crowd at once. But Jackie was still wearing a woman's dress. The princess left the room full of husbands to be chosen and dragged Jackie back to the room. She looked at Jackie with affection and gave Jackie the vegetables that were reserved for nobles. Jackie was puzzled. He is still wearing women's clothes, but the princess is so nice to him. Does she like women? Suddenly, the officers rushed into the room and asked the princess to go back to the ball and announce the marriage with the man they appointed. Jackie also returns to the ball. At that moment, Bruno finds Jackie in the crowd. Bruno earns money with a radish. The two of them can leave the country together. But then, the uncle recognized Jackie dressed as a woman and immediately reported the incident to the general. As they took off Jackie's hood, everyone was immediately shocked into confusion. The man dressed as a woman came to attend the princess's ball for the election of her husband. He fell in love with the princess, but unfortunately was publicly revealed to be a poor man. The old general immediately ordered the hunt for Jackie, but she is no longer young, 
So every shot misses. Jackie escaped successfully, but he accidentally ran into the porridge production base. He found out that the porridge that the state gives to the people every day is made of shit. Jackie was very angry and told everyone the secret. Everyone threw up when they found out that the porridge was made of shit. Jackie then hid under the princess's bed. The princess came back and lay down on the bed tired. Suddenly, Jackie sneezed. The princess found Jackie hiding under the bed. Now the two of them finally had some time alone again. The two young people spent a pleasant evening together. The next day, a parade of people gathered outside the palace. They were very angry about the fecal porridge they ate every day. And Jackie, who exposed all this, was their hero. This hero dressed up as a woman for love. So this led them to elect Jackie as the husband of the princess. And when the female officers entered the room, they found the princess and Jackie lying together intimately. So the officers immediately put Jackie in jail. And at this point, the crowd is no longer calm and began to resist. The old general saw this scene and had to come to the cell. She agreed to Jackie and her daughter's marriage. But because Jackie knew too many secrets, so she had to order to cut off Jackie's tongue. But suddenly, the princess grabbed the old general by the neck. The princess succeeded as the new general within a minute. From this moment on, everything in the country is under her control. Jackie became her husband and gained the approval of the people. Soon, the wedding came. The new general led her husband by a rope to complete their marriage in front of the crowd. But a few minutes later, the general and Jackie undressed. They stood naked in front of the crowd and showed everyone a shocking fact. The new general turned out to be a man. I thought the new general liked women, but I was wrong about all of this. This is a wonderful story. This French film, Jackie and the Kingdom of Women, tells an extremely absurd story. The director has created a bizarre kingdom of women, which expresses our real life with exaggeration. He magnifies the absurdities of life to create a bizarre world. But how is our world not weird? You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.